let's have a look at the next question here they're talking about in an examination the average marks of a student in section a were 32 so section a the average was 32 while section b the average was 60 the number of students in section a is 10 less than the number of students in section b so if i start with number of students as x over here here it is x plus 10 till here it was pretty straightforward if the average marks of all the students combined across both the section is an integer average together so what will be the average together total over here will be 32x total over here will be 60x plus 600 and the total number of students will be 2x plus 10. this is where i started thinking that the question was going to slightly get difficult 92x plus 600 upon 2x plus 10 is my average now they are saying that this number is an integer even besides that the question was still difficult the difference between the maximum and the ma uh, minimum possible value of the number of students of section a that is x only so difference between the minimum value of x and the maximum value of x now post this if you are doing trial and error it was going to be terrible so even i did not realize it immediately when i saw it obviously this is not the slot where i gave the uh, wrote the cat in so i kind of took it after I came uh, out and when the response sheet was released. So 92x plus 600 upon 2x plus 10. So I can first divide by 2. So I'll get 46x plus 300 upon x plus 5. Now pose this, how do you solve this? I want to find the maximum value of x and the minimum value of x. You can write the numerator as 46x plus 230 plus 70 divided by x plus 5 this was a very difficult step to think of right once you think of it 46 into x plus 5 plus 70 both divided by x plus 5 separately now understand one simple thing this part will always be an integer whatever be the value of x so now my problem is not over here x will whatever value i take for x this part will always be an integer because x plus 5 will cut so the problem is going to come only from here now what is the minimum value i can think for x now the denominator has to be a factor of 70. Now, if I think of all the factors of 70 also, 1 being the smallest factor, 70 being the largest, 2, 35, 3 does not go, 5 goes uh, 14 times, right? 6 does not go and 7 goes 10 times. So, not too many factors. I thought of all of them. We'll come to that later. 70 upon x plus 5. Now, so the smallest value of x possible when this denominator will have a factor larger than 5 but smallest such possible number that will be 7 so my denominator can be 7 for that x can be 2 so the smallest possible value of x is 2 and the largest possible value when my denominator will be 70 if the denominator is 70 x will be 65 so the smallest possible value for x is 2 and the largest possible value for x will be 65 and hence the answer which we are looking for the difference between the two will be 60 3. So, the answer for this question will be 63. Definitely a difficult question. I do not think there was an easier way to think of it. In fact, there can be a very smart another question which can be asked later someday on this is that how many values can x take? So, if you can notice over here, x cannot take 1, 2, sorry, x might be take, but we cannot take these factors. So, we cannot use factors where the denominator is 1, 2, or 5. For all other values, it is possible, and hence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 possible values could have been taken. Very interesting question. But on the day of the cat, I am leaving this alone. Definitely a category C for me.